Yes, what is going on guys? In this video, I'll show you the basics on how to install and set up Rainmeter. For those who don't know, Rainmeter is an application that allows you to customize your desktop with skins and display custom widgets. If this video is helpful, then please support the channel by liking and subscribing. Alright, let's get started. First off, you'll need to download Rainmeter and install it on your computer. You can download any version, but I would stick to the latest stable release which isn't likely to have any major bugs. Now that you've got Rainmeter installed, the real fun can begin. You can download skins from pretty much anywhere and installation is extremely simple too. For this tutorial, I'll grab something simple to mess around with. You might have a certain vibe that you want to create and you can get inspiration from other creations. When you download skins, some are just single widgets while others are fully designed skins with multiple features. I really like this Sonder skin, so let's grab this one and try it out. Hit download then run the file. This should open a window like this and all you have to do is hit install. This will automatically load the skin onto your desktop. Depending on how you want to design your desktop and wallpaper, it might not immediately fit in and look good. If you open up Rainmeter from your taskbar icon, you will be able to view configurations that you can change. The top folder are different skins. If you open it up, then you can see the different components of the skin in subfolders. Inside the subfolders are .ini files, which contain the config for your widgets. In this specific skin, if I want to use the vertical clock instead of the horizontal one, all I have to do is load in the vertical file. These are simple things to mess around with. Some skins come with more than one version of each widget and they can be individually customized. Some like this come with a special settings menu, so you don't need to edit the INI files themselves, but instead use the GUI. Each component can also be dragged around or made undraggable, which I like to do after I'm happy with my placement. Most of the other settings are quite intuitive, and there is a ton of detailed documentation if you want to create your own skins. Last off in this beginner tutorial, once you are happy with the design, head over to layout and create a new layout to save it as. Then, if you ever want to change your skin and come back to it later, you won't need to customize everything again. That's it for this beginner's tutorial on Rainmeter setup. If you found this video helpful, please show your support by liking and subscribing, and until next time, don't forget to keep it real.